The following is a conversation between His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a newspaper reporter. Recorded March 25, 1976, in New Delhi, India. What would you regard to be the essence of Bhagavad Gita? is me. That there is God, and we are part and parcel of God. God is great, and we are very tiny, small, fragmental portion of God. In quality, we and God are the same. Just like a drop of ocean water is qualitatively the same as the big ocean. Qualitatively, it is the same. A drop of ocean water is salt, and the whole ocean is also salt. The salt taste is there, but the drop is never equal to the ocean. This is the difference. Nitya nitya naam chetana chetana. This is very that he is also living in city as we are. So we many plural number. We means living in city. We are many, and he is one. And but he is also living in. Now, what is the difference? The difference is that he maintains the plural number, living entity. He maintains the plural plural number, plural. Plural. Living entities and the plural number living entities are maintained by him. In the past. Uh, No, I should start with it. Uh, this is the first press conference you are holding in Delhi, isn't it? Puja can be like a brief kiss, I'm so good at mine. Okay, yeah, I think it doesn't matter because this is a plural number entities are being maintained by him. Yes. While just like Aga, and he has got many children. So both of them are living entities, but the father maintains the children, and the children are maintained by God. One is maintaining, and others are being maintained. That means dependent. We are dependent on God, on Krishna. But sir, aren't we impure and he is pure? No, both of them. But then, how do we? Then why do we commit sins? God doesn't. Yes. That is, we are at the present moment in impure condition. That is material. Therefore, the human form of life is a chance to be free from the. Impurity. <coughs> But say, if we are drop of the same ocean, why should we be impure at all? No, no. We are pure, constitutionally. Then from where does this impurity come? Yes, yeah. that is just like you are healthy, but but from the disease comes. You are not diseased now, but sometimes disease comes. But from it comes. So at the present moment we are in disease condition. This has to be cured. Otherwise we are pure, as pure as God. <coughs> Then what is the way to purity? Yes, that is Bhagavad Gita. You mean the mere recital of Bhagavad Gita? Not recital. Really. To understand and to act. Prescription. Yes. That is the, the whole thing is described. Which particular teachings do you find so uplifting and ennobling for a man? 
You have read Bhagavad Gita? Yeah, I have. I mean, not so thoroughly, but I have in parts. What is that question? Which part? Which particular teachings you think can purify a man? Because you said the salvation lies in yes, following the teachings you, of Gita. You have to revive your consciousness that you are part and parcel of God. <coughs> and the part and parcel of God means uh, to serve God. Just like this finger is part and parcel of my body. But it is meant for serving my mind. I ask the finger, come here, it is serving. Come here, it is serving. Pick up the food, give it to me, he will give it. This is business of the finger. If the finger cannot carry out my order, then it is busy. And if it immediately carries out order, then it is serving. Similarly, we being part and parcel of God, we must be ready to give service immediately. Then it is healthy karma. And if you do not, then it is maya. We are serving. We are serving. Everyone is serving because our constitution is to serve. Big, big leaders, they are also serving. Anyone you can see, the sun is serving exactly in the time it is rising by the order of God. Exactly in time it is setting. Everyone is serving. Nikola Ishwar Krishna Arsha Bhritta. Only master is God. And everyone is servant. But the disease condition is that when you do not serve God, we serve something else, Maya, and that is disease. That is? Disease condition. Impure condition. At the present moment, we have discovered so many services, national service, communal service, uh, this service, that service, but nobody is recommending service of God. This is the disease condition. Therefore, we are suffering. So what do you really mean by arousing the Krishna consciousness? That what means you we have to serve Krishna. We are serving now non-Krishna. Nothing is non-Krishna. Something Maya. And it's like dreaming. Dreaming is our activity. That is false activity. Excuse me, may I ask one question? Uh. You said Maya or disease. Maya is disease or Maya or many other elements by which the Maya human disease is a disease condition or many other elements under which the human beings are affected. Yes. Are these bad conditions or ailments not part and parcel of God? Yes. But when you are suffering, are... you should have been. Just like a prison department is part and parcel of the government, but who is in the prison, he is suffering. <laughs> That's a very good answer. That's a wonderful answer. Uh, your divine day, uh, would your message be exactly the same for, say, a starving man in India and uh, uh, a Westerner who has got everything that now a person needs? say that not only in India, everywhere, everywhere, you will starve because you are rebellious to God. You must starve. That is a punishment. Just like anyone who is a criminal, he must be punished. That is the law of nature. So by that, uh, I suppose one would uh, presume that people in India have been most Why rebellious to God. Why no, Why because of... When you speak of God, don't touch. In India, yeah. No, because the number of starving men here is much larger. You are standing on account of your economic condition being bad, or the, I cannot say anything. Uh, but they are also standing 
you are poor by four, and they sometimes accept poverty voluntarily, just like the hippies. They, they have enough money, they are coming from very rich, father and grandfather, but they lie down on the street, and the police comes and kicks them, hey, get up, get up. Why? Why they have accepted? So this kind of variety is in find everywhere. A rich man, middle class man and poverty stricken man. Don't think that it is in, in India. I am traveling all over the world. Swamiji, what do you suggest to your disciples to arouse what you call Hare Krishna consciousness or God consciousness? Yes, Hare Krishna consciousness is the purity process. If you chant Hare Krishna, God is so kind. In this age, it is meant for every age. Especially these days when you are so much foreign and so much suffering, and neither we are able to act very piously. Therefore, uh, this Hare Krishna mantra, if you chant, you gradually become purified. Then you come to your own consciousness. So, how would you define sin? What is impurity, so to say? You cannot understand impurity. I mean, there be any clear cut definition? Just like when you are diseased and the doctor gives you some vaccine and injection to cure you, to make you purify. Is it not? No, there's like, could there be any clear cut criterion, for example, to say whether I have got sin or I have not got sin? What is sin? That we living entity being part and parcel we are as good as God. But when we are uh, under the control of the material nature, uh, that is our disease karma. The same example, just like you as a good citizen, you are as good as Indira Gandhi. You are Indian, you have got all the rights. But if you become criminal, you put into the prison. So we are in the conditioned state means no freedom. It is not clear? No, so I just wanted you to tell me some yardstick from which one could but find out that you are Because we are suffering, that is the sign of impurity. Because we are suffering. Do you admit that you are suffering? Do you know this? So pain means there, no, there no, is some impurity. Are you not suffering? Yes, everybody. That is disease. That is disease condition. When you have got fever, you are suffering. That is disease condition. So long you are suffering, you must be aware of the fact that was in disease condition. Because you are part and parcel, there is no question of suffering. So but something may not necessarily be because of sin, it might be because of something else, you know. It might be something that is your sinful activity, that something is some sinful activity. Now a poor man suffers of hunger, this is not sin if he yes, doesn't get yes. proper food or anything. Yes. But how can we help? We cannot help. Just like a prisoner in the suffering, in the prisoner, we cannot help. I may suffer because I have a cancer, for example, understand. but cancer is not uh, a sin, you know. Yes, it is sin. everything is sin. Disease means sin. Unless you commit sinful life, there is no question of suffering. I thought sin, sin has okay. some relation with ethics. Sometimes you know? the suffering is self-brought and sometimes the suffering is brought without self, no. by no. nature. No, no, that, that is wrong. Sin. Every suffering is brought by you, yourself. Just like uh, if you are punished by the High Court judge to be hanged, you don't make the High Court judge is the cause of your hanging. You made a situation, the High Court judge has given you the judgment that you must be hanged. Could you tell us something about the, the, the Vedic city which is being constructed in Mayapuri? I mean, what do you want to know something about the Vedic city which is being constructed in my Yes. Not Vedic city, Vedic planetarium. How you got this information? 
he had come to our temple earlier. He's already published one article in yesterday's paper. Which paper? Morning article. You must try to understand that we are suffering on account of our sinful activities. So I am asking what is sinful activity? You do not know. I don't know. If you go Sometimes on the street, very difficult to distinguish. if you go on the street and it is, there is tip to the left, as soon as you go to the right, you suffer. Is it not? Immediately go to the court. Is it not suffering? No, no, just try to understand. No, sir, I just wanted to no, no, ask no, you. No, 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 I that. want that. You just try to understand this common sense. That as soon as you go to the street, no. the indication is that you must keep your card on the left side. And as soon as you go to the right side, you become a criminal immediately. You can say, what is wrong? The right side or wrong side, I'm trying in my car. But it is given. You know or not know. Uh, ignorance of law is no excuse. So there similarly, there is law of God. See, as soon as you violate, you must. This is. What is that uh, law of court? Hmm? What is it? That means you are so ignorant. You are so ignorant. The law of God, law is, is God, is some. Personally speaking, this is the law. Sarvaranman paritra jamaame kang saranamaya. This is the law. God is speaking personally, and you do not know. And you are advertising, very expert in reading Bhagavad Gita, and you do not know the law. This is going on. Big, big scholars. Big, big monkey. Uh, they are reading Bhagavad Gita three hundred times daily, but do not know what is there. This is there. In Bengali, there is a uh, saying Big, big monkey, big, big belly. Silon jumping melancholy. You know, the monkey, big monkey, Anumanji, he jumped over. So ask any other monkey, can you jump? Melancholy. <laughs> big, big. Similarly, big, big scholars of Bhagavad Gita, I do not know what is the law of God. This is why. Big, big commentary, big, big book. But the, the law, he does not know. Your Divine Greek, uh, this is actually not very relevant to the press conference. But have you ever met uh, people like the Sai Baba or Bali Yogeshwar or the Maharaj? This is nonsense. What shall I mean? What is the business? Full the last case my meet is that. Why shall I mean? What can I get from them? What is their special value? Huh? Tell me, why shall I meet? What is the business I have got to be with you? You are suggesting? No, I mean, do uh, people... Why shall I meet? Why you expect like that? I shall meet. No, no, no. I they just casually you. wanted to know if you, if you have ever met them. Why I mean, they are also why uh, asking? Renowned what business I have got to meet with them? What no, I get you? From them? Just to discuss my yeah. metaphysics. You are taking lesson from Krishna. Why shall I take lesson from such bogus things? No, they have also been recognized as uh, full of exponents of Hindu thought and uh, who is the mind? That's all who is the mind. No, they too have that amazing the quality in the West. That is the defect of the modern civilization. The hope that's taken in a big democratic country like America. They voted Nixon to become president and when they found that this man is a bogus, they again dragged him down. So this is going on. We brought somebody to the topmost position and we see that he's a rescue. So therefore, we do not advise. We say, just take lesson from Krishna. 
become nice by everyone. That is our Krishna consciousness. We don't say that we are bogus man and take any step. We don't say. May I interrupt you? What Swamiji has described in all the books, as it exists, no further contribution, no amendment, no no interpretation. He has described all what has been written in Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita in its truest form. So no imitation, no representation, no interpretation. Swamiji has described exactly as it happened. And that is being appreciated all over the world. All over the world that is being appreciated. Swamiji, could you please throw light on your four-point regulation which you suggest to your disciples? Yes. That is past life. No illicit sex. No meaty thing. No intoxication. No gambling. No? Gambling. These are the four pillars of sinful life. So if you want to know God, we must be free from sinful life. This is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Jesam antapatam papam janalam punna karmana te dannamaha nirmukta bhajante maan virabdata. If you want to be God conscious, then you must be free from all sinful activities. God is pure. If you want to approach God, then you must be pure. If you remain impure, you cannot understand God. Swamiji, uh, do you think that there are some people in this country, in thousands or maybe tens of thousands, who are getting spiritual solace from, say, people like Sai Baba or, or any of these other people who have interpreted the Vedas or you know, who have followers all over the country? Do you think these followers are getting some amount of spiritual solace? No, no. First of all, do you know what Sai Baba is preaching? Do you know? No. Then how are you asking on behalf of Sai Baba? No, just like that. Just like I'm just uh, going, I mean, I'm very far removed from... The... No, no, why you are interested to your twice rise and say Sai Baba? No, anybody, because he is among the better known people. I am, no, I am nothing to do with it. Better known? It could be someone like, uh, say, the Bal Yogeshwar who also got some kind of following there. That is, that has spoiled our India's Vedic culture. Uh, everyone has in, <coughs> invented some ways uh-huh. and they are misled, the general people, people that is the uh, it, misfortune of modern India. Yes. The standard instruction is there in the Bhagavad Gita. They do not care to know it. They want to know about the greatness of Bhai Yogi, Sai Baba, this Baba. That, that is their misfortune. They give us the real instruction. Bhagavad Gita it is accepted by the great Arcade, Ravanucharya, Madhyacharya, Sankaracharya, Sultana Mahaprabhu, and all over the world. They are not interested to know Bhagavad Gita. They are interested to know your child. Just see this point. But what do we attribute this to? What would you attribute this to? What is the cause of this? Cause of this, I know. Simple causes that become mis- unfortunate. They give up the real thing and they accept the imitation. So that is a misfortune. Huh? If there are two shops, everyone knows here is real gold and here is imitation gold. So if he goes to purchase imitation gold, that is his misfortune. Uh, what is it in your movement which has appealed to the Western world? I, I believe you have a sizable yeah, following. We are, we are supplying real, real gold. Hmm? We are giving real gold. Mm-hmm. We are not supplying imitation gold. That is the credit. If you supply imitation thing, 
it may go for some time, but it will not endure. So many samis and yogis and they go there. Mm-hmm. But these ask these American boys, they don't go. No, but even Mahesh Yogi has a considerable following in America and a lot of Western countries. No, no, no. Amongst housewives. Huh? No. Now it, is, now it is going down, and the followers they have, they will not follow any regulative principles, they will not surrender. Simply, they have no actual disciples who are following. Now, are we going to compare because of the larger following? No, we compare I, I, the realities I, I and the unrealities. I didn't eventually compare the, uh, Swamiji's teaching with that of Mahesh Yogi. But but I, see, in America, uh, how many Mahesh Yogi has brought disciples like this? Practical come, come, practical come. Have you seen in India my well, disciples? Well, whenever he comes to Delhi, he brings uh, two, three Delhi jumbo Delhi. jets uh, full oh, of uh, oh, disciples. I ask them, thousands of them are working here on my idea. Just see their character and behave it. Swamiji, may I say something? A magician can create many charishmas, but God also creates charishmas. Okay. Whom will you compare? Yeah. The magician charishma, charishma or the God charishma? This is the difference. A magician can also sometimes impress upon people that he has godly powers. But are these the real godly powers? As against godly, real godly powers. This is the difference. I have been at least thirty times to America, mm-hmm. talk to a lot of people. Yes. They say if you want to go really for attainment of your soul, you go to Iskon. If you want to have my yes. And if you want to attain your bodily strength, yes, actually one of your bodily strength. One of his secretaries, he asked that I want real knowledge of God. He said then you go to Iskon. And if you want blissful, pleasureful things, yeah. go to either Mahesh Yogi or go to Balhat Yogi. Yeah. This, is what is, this is what has been. <laughs> uh, this is what has been impressed upon by knowledgeable people in America. Yeah. And at least I can say with authority that I have talked with lot of people. Yeah. They in America. say that you can chant some mantra and go on with your sinful life, but the practical result is that people's lives remain the same. They may simply divert themselves from their suffering temporarily, but in reality, their condition of life is the same. They're still in a miserable condition of life. Your Prabhupada has actually lifted us out of the well of misery to the atmosphere of blissfulness. My Zagi advertised this in the paper. TM. You don't require any religion, don't require to follow any uh, principles, uh, so on, so on. Yeah. But, uh, I have got so many strictures, still, they do not go to him, they come to me. He has no stricture. Yes. But I have got so many strictures. Uh, it is the report of the draft department that why the young men come to Krishna consciousness, young men, what is the facility? Mm. So they study it. So, they reported that there is no facility, simply rigidity, still they go. <laughs> Do you have any plans of uh, propagating your uh, movement in India? Because uh, you have been there uh, for too long uh, working in the West and, uh, India, yes. and uh, I believe India is uh, not uh, getting yeah. the benefit of your teaching and your guidance. India is so misguided that it will take some time yeah. to come, because uh, in India, whatever, even if you speak to India, what I can speak? I can speak Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> the Bhagavad Gita was already there, it's still already there. Yeah. And India's misfortune is they're so neglectful, they don't take care of Bhagavad Gita. They will bring, why not Sai Baba, why not this Baba, why not that Baba? No, I want to become over intelligent. Not simply intelligent, but over intelligent. That is, they are not over intelligent. That is the facility for the 
we are preaching Krishna is the supreme God. That is in the Shastra and the Vedas and everywhere. But you won't believe. He will say, why Krishna is supreme God? Another is, here is God, here is God. Hundreds and thousands of gods will be. That is the thing. Lord, do you pre- plan to propagate your uh, message in yes. India? Yes, certainly I plan. But the difficulty is, you know, he is going to accept the philosophy, he is already there. Bhagavad Gita is already. No, but but who is caring to take it? He needs it. I speak, I shall speak. Read Bhagavad Gita. Hmm. But who will take it? That is the division. There will be another competition. What probably is asking is, do we have any positive plans to do it something like that? We have already planned. In Bombay there is a very big temple where we live. There is a center. My point is that uh, what I am speaking, it is not unknown to India. But they are so misfortunate that they don't take it. That is it. So unfortunate they have become that they don't think. What shall I speak in India? The same thing. So that is all the more reason why uh, you are no, uh, uh, we are doing, as far as we are concerned, the people are so over they don't take it. Ah, what are is now we have heard? Ah, we have seen Bhagavad Gita. Really. If you become neglectful, that is the greatest offense. Oh, India is offender. It is India's philosophy, what I am preaching others. India doesn't require to be known, uh, to be aware. It is, they already know it. But they will not take it. They have become so unfortunate. That is the reason. If you don't take it, then I will become rich. Suppose if I give you that, this. One thousand dollars. And if you don't take it, your benefit will be there. The India's position is there. Would you be open to starting schools in India on Gurukul pattern? On the Gurukul pattern? Trying. But the difficulty in India is that they are very, very neglectful. Is the government is no question of government or people. Government is people's man. So if you are, we are ourselves fools and ourselves, the government will also be a set of fools and ourselves. If you are intelligent, the government is intelligent. Because now it is democracy. You select some man. So don't blame government. You are government. If you are fools, the government are fools. If you are intelligent, the government is intelligent. It is up to you to change. Then everything will go right. Some just gives me any special significance of keeping this bead hidden. Yeah, just to follow Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita says, Marmana Bhava Mad Bhakta. Always think of me. So we are thinking Krishna, Krishna, Hari, Krishna, Hari. No, I mean you are keeping it wrapped in a piece of clothes. That, that, that bead. The bead is pure, so just to keep it aloof from the dust and nothing. We we keep this drinking water covered. Why? This is common. It's just to keep it pure. Yes. Pure it is. But still, it is our duty not to treat uh, ordinary. Are your disciples supposed to chant the mantra all the time? All my disciples, fine. Are they supposed to chant the mantra throughout the day? Oh, yes. All the time? Just like I am talking with you, and as soon as I am talking to them, I am saying, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. It's possible to talk and also to chant the mantra at the same time. Yeah, that requires practice. <coughs> that requires practice. Just like the woman is cooking and he is also talking. It does not mean the cooking is going bad. 
it, it is practice. So, when you do this uh, chanting of mantra, bring purity or following of your four instructions or regulations or which you have told, yeah. or both. Uh, it purifies the heart. Yes, the core of the heart. Cheto Dhatmana Mahajanam. This is the effect of chanting because everything we are doing on account of dirty heart. So everything is dirt. So if you purify your heart, then everything becomes clear. How long does it take to purify your heart? That's like right. if the dirty things are very fixed up, it takes little more time. Otherwise, it takes little time. Sorry. Uh, I believe you have a certain industry for export also in Mayapur. May I know uh, if they would be manned by disciples? And if so, uh, do you think that they would be in a much better position to look after these big goshalas and other things than, say, other people would be? Then everything will be followed very nicely. That's why in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Kishi Goraksha Manijam. Uh, and Goraksha, this is recommended in the Bhagavad Gita. So if you follow Bhagavad Gita, then naturally Goraksha will be there. And if you read Bhagavad Gita for some political reason, then Salatar has gone. Instead of Goraksha, go killing. This is going on. Every <coughs> politician is reading Bhagavad Gita. But go raksha, instead go raksha, go hatya. Read it. No go raksha, but go hatya. This is it. Who cares for Krishna? This is the misfortune of India. Krishna spoke in India, in Kurukshetra. Krishna appeared in India. But Indian people are neglecting. Therefore I say it is a misfort. It is your own thing and you are neglecting. So you want to increase that? Yes, I want that. Bhagavad Gita was spoken in India. Every Indian should take Bhagavad Gita very serious. Then India's fortune will change. But they have rejected Bhagavad Gita and <coughs> they are making their own imagination as the goal of life. So how they will help it? If you have your father's property, you squander it and then you beg from others, give me some money. How much unfortunate you are. Just. Your father's property, you squander it. Then you become a beggar and beg from others, give me some money. Sir. How much unfortunate you are. Just when you visited the, uh, the Soviet Union, Swamiji, did you find the atmosphere uh, worse than it is in Western countries, say, or the people in any way? The people are very good, but the leaders are bad. Did you meet any of them? No. Yes, I talked with one of the best leaders, Professor Kotowski. He is a professor of Indology. I have talked with him. I have studied. The people in general are very good. <coughs> but they, did you hold any meetings or anything? Yes. Were they receptive to what you... Yes. I was invited by Professor Kotovsky. Kotovsky. On my way to Europe, I stayed there. So I have studied the people. They are very good. As our Indian people, you know, Saint Masters, they are all like that. Yeah. But they are being sophisticated by the uh, new philosophy of communism. Artificial thing. 
but they are not happy. They are being forced to accept the philosophy. People have seen from their face they look unhappy. Everything depends on government. You have to accept. You cannot select your food. Whatever nonsense thing, the government will supply your food. Even you don't like it. And for us, it was a great difficulty. We could not get rice, could not get flour, neither fruit. Only milk is available and flesh as much as So on the whole it was artificial and people are not happy. Samji, why do you forbid this tea or coffee also for your Because it is sinful. It is sinful? Yes. Yeah. Why should we eat meat? What about onions and onions? Yeah, onions is also very agitating. So why are they sinful? Huh? Why are they sinful? I mean, sinful? Why is it sin to take tea or coffee? Because in this intoxication, if you are habituated to take tea, as soon as in your time you don't take tea, you become bad. You mean this dependence is bad or this yes, tea itself is bad? If Suppose your mind is agitated for something, then you become dependent on that thing. That is the position. Those who are Taking tea, they, are, they have become so much dependent. But if I start taking milk, I will equally, I will be equally dependent no, on milk. No, no. Milk is not. Milk, you take little milk once every day. So what he says that uh, if he starts taking milk uh, regularly, he will become dependent, uh, he will become enslaved. If you are dependent, you must eat something. So also but he must eat something which is favorable for him. Eatable, everything is eatable. The stool is also eatable. That doesn't mean you human beings go to eat stool. <laughs> that is meant for the pigs, hogs. You are not hogs and pigs, but if you become, if you try to become pigs and hogs, then you can become. No distribution of pig, food means pigs and hogs. And God will give chance to become a hog. Next slide. So most of your disciples have but their... But you admit children. this, that after this life you have to accept another body. Do you accept this? Huh? I do, sir. Then that body offered to you, is it in your hand? Suppose in next life you are offered a pig's body. Can you say, no, no, I don't want it. <coughs> That is the statement of Bhagavad Gita. But how to give up, sir? Eh? How to give up? It is give up. How to give up this tea and coffee to which we are so much habituated? That, uh, is that the choice? Yeah. <laughs> That's the example. How they ask them. If you chant Hare Krishna, then you lose your hankering for everything else. Really? Yes. Yeah. The higher taste. That is the taste of Hare Krishna moment. Bhakti Parishanu Bhava Virakti Annatya Sya. As soon as you advance in devotion, you become detestful to your material in your. From which class of society people generally come to you in the States? From which class of society in the United States do most of your disciples come to you? <coughs> you can ask them. I do not know. Oh. Many educated people as well as People from all different classes. And in all America, America he is uneducated. He is all coming from very nice families, majority mm-hmm. education. Many, many of them coming from very wealthy families. Now, you if you say take good family means only the family, then in America there is no poor family. There is no question of poverty. Right. So, how do you distinguish that he is coming from good family, he is coming from bad? No, Poverty is unknown to them. Nobody is uneducated. Then how distinguish who is bad and who is good? 
everyone is good. Unless he voluntarily becomes bad, hippie. Otherwise everyone is coming from very good family, rich family, educated family. Do you have a large number of American Negroes in your movement, Swamiji? Not large number, but there are. Is there any reason why that is so? That is very reason. They are not very much culture. They have women followers also in the movement. Yes. America, men and women have got equal rights. So whom do you find more responsive to your movement? Everyone. Women or men? You are. You are very fortunate. And I am very much indebted to them because they have helped me. Yes. Helped in what thing? Cooperation. Without, without their cooperation, that this book I am writing, surely. But they are pushing up. Even facing great danger. They are helping me in my translating work, in typing, in composing, in printing. Have you got that feel? How they are doing? No, you got the stone? That book stone? I don't have the projector on that suitcase. Mm. Uh, if we invite them to see the, how they are helping efficiently with the latest machine, therefore it has been possible. Otherwise, while in India, with great hardship, I could publish three books on it. They are very beautifully printed. Where did the money come from to print uh, such lavish uh, editions of your book? <coughs> we are selling books. No, daily. but initially you do require a. Um, initially you require some money initially to print such a lavish. I money. took some books from here. They are not so nicely printed. But still, I sold them. Then gradually increased. They paid the money and then. They made contribution. One of my students, in his first jhanam, he no first paid me. He he has he first paid me first five thousand dollars. Then Brahmana has paid me five thousand dollars. In this way, gradually, money came. Swamiji, you write or you write originally in English, or these books are being translated from? Some other language into English no, for you. No, translated. But I give my part part. And that is they like very much. Mm -hmm. Present the part part in such a way they can understand. The original verse is there, but they are explained by. Me. Give some critical comments and yes. explanation. That they like. How does that mean, Swamiji, that yours is a cultural and educational movement rather than a personal cult? A cultural yes. and educational movement rather than a personal cult? Yes, it is cultural movement, educational. It is not so-called religious movement. Religious hmm. movement is sentiment. Generally, religion is taken as a kind of faith, but it is not a fine kind of faith in I think in South America that the Indian man was asking that if he is the Hindu faith. Oh, in South Africa. Yeah. He, uh, he is asking, is this uh, uh, Hindu faith? Uh, so this cult is that cult. He was a Hindu gentleman, belonged to the Arya Samaj. So three times he said, is it Hindu faith? And what do you mean by Hindu faith? Yeah. Uh, when Krishna says, Dehina Smin Jathadehi Kumara Jovanam Jara Tathadehaan Taraprati, is it meant for the Hindu that uh, a child becomes a, uh, a baby becomes a child, a child becomes a boy, a boy uh, becomes a young man, a young man becomes a old man, and the old man dies, changes his body, is it meant for the Hindus? The Mahamedans do not become old men or young men. The Christians don't become old men. But such fools there are. The Bhagavad Gita, <laughs> the scientist is speaking, Katha de Hantra Prati, Viva Sarta Namuniyate, it is meant for the Hindu. <laughs> such fools there are. And Krishna says, Anna Bhavanti Bhutan. 
if you have got enough food grains, then all the living entities are satisfied. Is it meant for the Hindus? So this is going on. This is Hindu scripture. What do you mean by Hindu scripture? So they are interpreting in that way. So Krishna is not for the Hindus or the Muslims or Krishna. He is God. He is everyone. He is for everyone. And he it is stated in Bhagavad Gita, Sarvajoni Sukhantriya, Sammavanti Nityaya. In all species of life, as many forms of life are there, Ahang be the plan, the seed giving father of all of them. So where is the question of Hindus? This is going on. Does it ever happen, Swamiji, that uh, some disciples of yours may disagree with you on spiritual matters? No. Unless he is a fool. <laughs> Unless he is a damn fool. <laughs> if he is sad and sober, open heart, then he will be. Not only Hindu, you know, we have got so many Mahabhidans also. So unless one is open-minded, sane, intelligent, they cannot understand. Therefore I say the Indians have become insane by the influence of so many rascals, they are becoming insane. But that has to be rectified. But insanity is prevailing all over the world, but not so much insanity as in India, that they are rejecting their own things. This is the greatest insight. Why they are rejecting Bhagavad Gita? What is the reason? Tell me. You. Because I think they are suffering basic economic instability. Huh? Economic instability. Economic. Then why don't you accept the economic program given by Bhagavad Gita? Why don't you accept? Please elaborate on that. I would be very interested. It is unknown to everyone. Krishna says, Allah Bhavanti. Bhutan. Anna. Anna means uh, food grains, eatables. You must produce uh, sufficient food grains. Uh, why you are producing tattoo instead of food grains? And just entering your Delhi from Vrindavan, a big Goodyear factory. Very big fact. You are producing tact, you, then iron, uh, goodyear and this and that. Very food grain. And both sides, the field is better. Nobody is going to grow food grain. Then why you not start? It is your fault. You are producing tact, you, and iron instrument. You are neglecting agriculture. Then why you shall not suffer for want of food grain? And you are pleading, Indians are starving. Right? Why shall not starve if they do not follow Bhagavad Gita? They are thinking by increasing industry. In America, they have got industry at the same time food grains also. But you are taking to industry without taking care of growing food grains. I feel that uh, your society, that Hare Krishna consciousness society, has a very, very uh, stable economy and that it is self sufficient in itself. Is that so? Speak a little Is the Hare Krishna society self sufficient? It has a, does it have a very. If you understand that our society has a very stable economy, is it self sufficient, our, our own Hare Krishna society? Uh, don't you think that you are self sufficient? We are feeding at least 10,000 devotees daily, uh, but we have no fixed income. We don't have any fixed income? No. None of us have any fixed income. But we, we are traveling all over the world, uh, New York, London, Calcutta, it is just like going from this quarter to that quarter. Our men are moving like that, immediately coming 
વન ડઝન બેટ જર્મની વન ડઝન ફોર્મ અને ઇમિડિયટલી ગોઈ વેર પેઇંગ સો મચ મની ટુ ધી એર પ્લેન એન્ડ વી હેવ ગોટ સો મેની સેન્ટર્સ હાઉ ઇટ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ક્રિષ્ના ગ્રેસ ડિપેન્ડ ઓન ક્રિષ્ના અવર ઇન્કમ ડેલી કલેક્શન એ નોટ લેસ દેન વન લેખ ઓફ રૂપી એન્ડ યુ આર સ્પેન્ડિંગ એવરીથિંગ દેટ ઇઝ મિનિમમ સમટાઈમ્સ વી કલેક્ટ ફાઈવ લેખ ડેલી વોટ ઇઝ ધ વે યુ ગો અબાઉટ કલેક્ટિંગ મની દીસ ક્વેશ્ચન વોઝ રેઝ ઇન ધ પાર્લર there hari krishna people that fabulous rich when they get their money yeah. and the parliament answer was to get their money by selling literature yeah. that means the devotee from the dunam can not be devotee is purchased no they public those who are <coughs> intelligent public they purchase they purchase right but uh, do the devotees contribute in any way yes yeah. they, they are contributing their life we don't get any such life sacrifice in india these educated boys rich man sir they have sacrificed everything for me and where is india tamiji do you have certain farms also in america yes goshan not only one many what else uh, do you have over this besides gurukul schools and things they are producing for on me In New Brindavan, you are producing <coughs> your Navarat times, you are any of them, Navarat times. Is there any representative in us? No. Your representative went to New Brindavan and he published in November 1974, I think. Yes, 74. Yes, they published one big article in Navarat times okay. and the heading was Adhatmikta Ka Jamuna આ દૂધ દહી કી નદી બીજાઝ ફોટોગ્રાફ અવર ડીટી એન્ડ યુ કેન ફાઇન્ડ આઉટ નવેમ્બર ઇસ્યુ ઓફ નવો આર ઇન નાઇન્ટીન સેવન્ટી ફોર બટ યુ વર્ચ્યુઅલી ગિવન અપ ઇન્ડિયા <laughs> misleaders they have given up their own culture and they are trying to imitate it and so that they brought the charges that the americans are cia but the cia are not what is the cia the cia have become bosh now and given up <laughs> me teaching and dancing with me and they are no other than how foolish person the cia cia men have come to me for inquiry this question and ask the question sir put such an fortunate insanity is prevailing in the yeah american cia they have come to me 